Uh, I just arrived today Jan on Jan 8, the United Kingdom. And it's a very cold place and compared to Nepal. So I'm really having fun as well as feeling sad. Missing my parents. Missing my parents. After a long journey, I'm here at Catrick today. It's my first day at Catrick and I'm really excited for further training. It's been quite a long journey. We stayed at Qatar for 24 hours transit. I don't know what to expect more. The recruits spend eight weeks within the confines of the garrison before reaching the first milestone in their calendar, passing off the square. They're inspected on drill, questioned on history and their personal turnout scrutinised. If they pass, they're allowed out into the wider world, their first taste of the UK for real. But first, they must face the instructors. The barrack lines were uh, extremely clean. Our dresses, they were well ironed and everything was uh, spot on, let's say. Even if my boots were already shining brightly, so I would still say that's not enough. So I would again try again. When we were doing the drill, of course, we were kind of trying to use our sixth sense. Uh, everything was kind of, you know, it was near perfect. So nothing is perfect, so I would say near perfect. The Gurkha soldiers, we always say Gurkha Kaida, so what that exactly is that we have a very strong sense of fierce competition. So we want to, we want a very fair competition and whenever we are competing in whatever we are competing, what we want to do is we want to win, fairly of course. I'm a member of one platoon, so we were actually able to win and uh, actually uh, even lucky, uh, even more lucky, uh, the day gets even more lucky. I, I myself was uh, able to come in third position, so it was really, really enjoyable. After eight weeks when you we are allowed to go outside, we, were, we felt like heaven. <laughs> it was really amazing to go out and do some shoppings with our own own money. I was feeling very proud that uh, now I'm earning myself because uh, we used to use our father's earnings. So it was a very proud moment for us. And what did you buy with that first money? I bought a phone, first of all, <laughs> and after that, some foods. Insert cash or select payment time. They were all through ATM cards, so this was so amazing for us. We should not have to take out our money. Uh, we should not have to show our money to anybody. It uh, automatically come in our car, and by that card we can do anything. So it was very good to us. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Have a nice day. And you enjoy Richmond. <laughs> in Richmond, I feel very uh, nervous and very uh, afraid because we are not uh, expert to chat with the civilians, and we don't know the culture. Or however, if I do the my mistakes or we talk mistakenly, uh, I feel uh, feel afraid. Of them. We were kind of like, let's say, headless chicken. We didn't know, you know, what to expect. Uh, you know, even the simplest of things, uh, you know, it could be difficult when there is a cultural change. So that's that's to be expected. And then our instructors were guiding us at each and every step, and they were helping us all the way. <laughs> it was very. Um, Difficult for us to order also in burger, uh, how to order a burger, a pizza, a KFC, and our English tone were not so good. <laughs> and, and, but the people were so familiar and kind. And if you say, if we say only one thing, a bit, then they understand. McDonald's fantastic. Even now, many of us, uh, we do, uh, we do uh, visit McDonald's frequently and we do uh, eat McDonald's, but we also take care in mind that you know we don't get, uh, we don't eat too much because uh, it may be very very tasty, and that was a real pleasure. Uh, but you know, we have to be careful about our health and fitness, you know, about our diet. Uh, it was good, but uh, I felt like uh, KFC is better than McDonald's. 